Hello, today we shall be talking about slash reviewing, whatever you would like to call it, The Blob from 1958. If you're curious about watching this one or you're thinking about it, it is on HBO Max if you do not have a um, the physical copy, which I did not, so I ended up watching it on HBO Max, and I'm very glad I did because this is a fun movie. I know this uh, review is kind of just out of left field, but I'm trying to do um, a lot of horror stuff for the rest of this month and then all through October, but there will be other videos sprinkled in as well because I don't want the channel to be just horror. Don't worry, there's still going to be comic book stuff, DVDs, and all that, but this is going to be my review of The Blob from 1958. So anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So if you've never seen this movie, I do actually suggest uh, giving it a watch because it is a, a lot of fun and you can definitely see where other movies definitely took influence from this one because if you've ever seen uh, Killer Clowns from Outer Space like I have, you can definitely tell like the influences that this movie had on that movie and so, so many other movies as well. It was definitely a... Um, it was a very inspirational movie, like, it, it just took a lot, and it kind of just took the, um, the genre by storm and went right off with it, but like I was saying earlier, it came out in 1958, it is in color on HBO Max, even though the thumbnail does show it in black and white, it is in color, and, um, the way that the blob is, like, just, it's cool how they, uh, end up going about it, because there are scenes that you could tell were just, like, kind of like little dioramas that they were shoving this uh, blob thing through but that was the error that was the special effects of the error and it is really cool to like just see like how it used to be and all that but like I said earlier this is on HBO Max if you have that I do suggest giving it a watch and it stars uh, Steve McQueen which uh, I feel like was one of the biggest stars back then so I feel like you definitely know his name if you don't I'm actually more surprised and um, the directors, there's actually two of them, even though one of them was uncredited, it is uh, Erwin uh, S. Yeesworth. I probably mispronounced that. Junior, sorry. I probably mispronounced that. And Russell S. Um, Doughton Jr. as well. And I gotta say, they do a pretty good job with this movie. Um, it is just B-rate horror to the max, and I feel like that is, that's the best part about it. Like, it's fun. It's over the top. It's just, like, it is what it is. Like, it knows exactly what it is. And, um, if you don't know the plot of it, we'll, uh, just get into the plot right now. So, pretty much, um, this asteroid comes flying down to Earth and just creates, like, a big crater. This old man, uh, goes to investigate what it is. And, ironically, that's the same thing as Killer Clowns from Outer Space. This old man goes to investigate it. And so, uh, he goes to investigate it, and then, uh, uh he's poking it with a stick, and then this, like, um, jello-looking thing comes out and grabs his hand, and then he can't get it off. He's screaming and all that. Then these, uh, two kids play by uh, Steve McQueen, and I don't know the actress's name, they end up uh, picking him up and all that, and bringing him to the docks, and um, the doc is like, yeah, I don't know what's going on, and then it ends up taking his entire arm, and then eventually his entire body, and as it eats more, it grows more, it just, it, like, it is just a parasite that just keeps growing and growing, and we even have the cops in this one, you have the one that believes them, and then the one that is like, oh, this is just hoopla, it's nothing, it's blah, 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 and that's the same as Killer Clowns from Outer Space 2, which I found, uh, like, just a super, super ironic, like, Killer Clowns from Outer Space had the, uh, the cop that did not believe anything they were saying, it was like, the whole town's trying to pull a prank on me, aren't you, ha ha, well, I ain't falling for it, and it's just, it's fun, it's just how it is, it's just B-rate horror goodness, and, um, I gotta say, like, I enjoyed it, uh, personally, I'd give it a, um, 7 out of 10, it does run slow at times, like, there are certain points where you're just like, okay, can we move on, but I will say that some of the dialogue is written in such a way that you, you just smile at it, you're like, okay, this is, this is comical, this is fun, I can get down with this, but pretty much, uh, there will be spoilers in this talk, so if you don't want any spoilers, um, I'll just say this now, it is a, uh, 7 out of 10, I do want to see the remake, I've heard good things about the remake, and I do hear that, I did hear that the remake just takes a more a violent approach, a more aggressive approach, which I'm actually really interested in seeing, because this one is very, very tame, like, all the violence happens off screen, or, um, when it swallows people, like, it's not gory whatsoever, this is definitely a movie that was rated PG, 
GG for a good reason, because it doesn't go to the extreme, it doesn't need the blood, it doesn't need the gore, it, like, it just dissolves people, and that is good enough for what they wanted, and that absolutely works for this version, but the remake I heard is a lot more bloodier, so I am gonna try to find that and give it a watch, but anyway, yeah, uh, back to the topic, pretty much what it was, was, it's a 7 out of 10, it is a, uh, B-rate, uh, horror movie, good time, I'd actually kind of categorize this more as a, um, a sci-fi movie, because it's definitely more in the realm of science fiction than it is in horror, besides a scene or two, but, um, the, uh, another thing I gotta point out, which I'll get into, uh, in the spoiler talk, even though it's not really a spoiler, but there you go, that was, uh, my review of The Blob, before we get into spoilers, so let's get into spoilers, and... Spoiler time. So pretty much uh, the first thing I'll say, even though this isn't a spoiler, is Stephen, McQ uh, Stephen McQueen is like uh, 28 in this movie, I believe they said, and he's trying to play like a 16, uh, 16 or 17 year old, and you're just like, okay, this dude looks super, super old, like how, what is going on here, like why, why does he look so like old when he's playing a teenager? But, um, a few other things I want to talk about is how they end up defeating the blob, which I had no idea how they ended up defeating it, so it was actually kind of cool to see it unfold. It was just cold because, uh, they end up running into this diner and then it ends up swallowing the diner. And then they realize, hey, wait a second, it doesn't like that because they hit it with the, uh, fire extinguisher. And then it was something from earlier in the movie when they were in the freezer and they realized, oh, wait a second. It didn't come after us either while we were in the freezer. So this might actually end up working. So it ends up, uh, they realize that it doesn't like cold. And then they end up getting fire extinguishers. And then they end up uh, making the whole thing just freeze into like this tiny, tiny little thing. And um, pretty much, I don't... Uh, there wasn't really any, like, sequel bait at the end of this. Because usually movies like this, you do expect there to be sequel bait. But this one didn't have it, and I was perfectly fine with that, and because it's just a fun one-off movie, and I feel like we didn't really need it to continue in any which way, because it's just, it's fine as is. Um, if you've seen it, you know exactly what I'm talking about, because right after they defeat it, it kind of just ends abruptly, they're just, like, directed by, starring, blah, 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 and then the movie's over, but it's not a bad movie, it's a fun movie, it's a solid, uh, 7 out of 10, it's corny goodness, and, um, if that's up your alley, I highly suggest checking this out, and if you have seen this movie, let me know what you think of it down in the comments below, but anyway, that was my review of The Blob from 1958. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. I did see two video requests. One is to do a, a complete graphic novel collection, which will be coming shortly. And the other one to do is a uh, explaining of what the Superverse is. Um, if you follow any of my Arrowverse stuff, um, I like I do tons and tons of videos about Arrowverse stuff related and all that because... Flash's final season is going to be coming back early next year, so I'm looking forward to that, and um, I'll just do a video explaining what the Superverse is as well, and if you do enjoy this shirt, I got it in uh, Salem, Massachusetts, I did uh, actually go to Salem, I didn't film anything, took a lot of pictures, I'm thinking about doing a video just talking about how my experience was, and then just uh, popping pictures there, like here and there, I might do that, I might not, if you see it pop up, it's probably because it's spooky season, but it does say I survived the uh, 2020 uh, global pandemic, and then it says Salem, Mass, then on the back is actually a uh, really, really nice picture. I like how it pops. But anyway, um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I know to get making more of these. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye!